Hi there, everybody. My name's Rebecca Parslow and I'm a Gifts and Wills Fundraising Specialist. I assist organisations identify and expand their Gifts and Wills Fundraising opportunities to propel their cause into the future. So what are the key elements of setting up a Gifts and Will program for the first time? Firstly and foremostly, you need to equip yourself with knowledge. It's a good idea to do your due diligence through a basic feasibility study to assess the opportunity within your supporter base. The best Gifts and Wills prospects are those that are already financial supporters of your organisation, those that sit within the 60 plus old age bracket, and those who are engaged within your organisation through volunteering or other forms of participation, such as attending events. So firstly, you want to get a snapshot of your organisation's supporter profile. You may need to prime your database manager with coffee and chocolate as you'll need their help. Your supporter profile will only be as good as your data. So if your data is lacking, you may need to look at some data cleansing or data gathering exercises before forging forward. An example this, of this might be a supporter survey where you can ask things like age bracket um, or the like. Once you have a snapshot of your supporter profile, age, gender, geographical location, location, recency and frequency of giving and participation, you can narrow down your target audience to those you think are warmest to a gifts and will ask. You should then consider how you're going to engage with those supporters to have the greatest impact any pros of any of the prospecting campaigns you run. It's likely for best impact, you'll have multiple channels of communication such as email, direct mail, phone or SMS. Uh, you want to look at that supporter pool and check in uh, how responsive they are to those different forms of communication media. Then to understand the opportunity Gifts and Wheels fundraising stream potential has for your organisation, it's good to benchmark how other like charities are performing in Gifts and Wheels fundraising. So you can ac access Gifts and Wheels income through annual reports of other organisations. And it's a good idea to pick up the phone and talk to other charities to get an understanding of the comparable supporter bases, operational budgets that they have for Gifts and Wheels fundraising and their human resourcing to manage their program. Remember, when you're looking to start a Gifts and Wills program, you're not only looking for human resources for a program, but an operational budget that will allow you to actively prospect to, into your supporter base. So, once you've done your feasibility assessment to determine the opportunity, it's critical that you develop systems, procedures and data policies. I can't stress this enough. You need good systems to capture information to ensure inquiries are acted upon quickly and effectively and the ability to guide prospective gifts and will supporters through their consideration phases. You'll also need to invest in a clear and effective gifts and wills collateral that is easily accessible through your website or through simple phone or email inquiry process. It's a powerful tactic to identify people who can champion Gifts and Wills fundraising within your organisation, such as board members, senior management or ambassadors. Importantly, identify peers from your supporter base who you can call upon to illustrate the compelling reasons why to leave a gift in your will to support your organisation. This is also extremely powerful. So the next point I'd like to make is that um, you should look to set a three to five year strategy outlining your desired targets, prospecting opportunities, campaign ideas, cultivation and stewardship activities and associated budgets. Remember, Gifts and Wills fundraising is a long investment for your organisation, so set the precedent in your strategy early on that you're investing strategically with the aim of generating leads and confirming pledges, but without the expectation of realising gifts for the first five years. I think this is a perfect opportunity to set the expectation that you may not receive income from the investment um, for 
five plus years, but you could be surprised. With all this in place, you should be well positioned to head off into Gifts and Wills prospecting campaign. So good luck with everything. If this has been helpful, click the link below to stay in touch. Please also subscribe or 